welcome back to another DJC's Toy Box. And uh, obviously I have someone here with me. Hey everybody, Wild Man Wes here. So today we're going to do some unboxing of some figures that are, uh, vinyl figures, that are from different like... Pretty much anything based on movies, cartoons, professional wrestling. Fairly similar to the, the Funko brand of figures you might see at comic book stores or any other retail store. But these are mini vinyls and they're also uh, mystery boxes so we don't know exactly what's all in them. Um, some of them actually do come from Funko and then the other uh, company that uh, has a couple that I have for you are from Loyal Subjects. Right. So uh, we're just gonna pop into these. We're gonna start off with the... Uh, I got a lot. We're, we're gonna try to run through these as much as possible. We, I got about 18 of them right here so uh, this one is for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. These ones came out in uh, 2016 and uh, got a couple different uh, ones you can definitely get. Uh, there's also four different ones that are rare collectible ones, the ones that they don't make a whole lot of. The ones that they have for rare are uh, the White Ranger in uh, complete gold and then you also have the T-Rex, the Sabertooth Tiger and the Triceratops in gold and black. So I'm hoping maybe we'll get one of those, maybe we'll yeah. be lucky. Otherwise, you know, we got a couple of the, we have the, the same Zords in their traditional colors, and we have either Rocky, Aisha, or Billy. So, who knows? Maybe if we get Billy, maybe I'll have him sign this at C2E2. Yeah. And C2E2 is uh, right around the corner, so. Yep, this episode may be coming out after C2E2, but who knows? We'll see what happens. Yeah, and we'll also be uh, posting a little bit of footage from the show, so stay tuned for that. Oh, yeah. So, let's open it up. Yep. I made sure, just like him, I got all the plastic wrap off first before I decided to open this stuff because uh, yeah, it's always a struggle. The struggle is real. Yes. All right. Uh, probably for safety purposes. Also for shoplifters that try to take these things out of the box and somebody hears this We're going on in the aisle. I saw one at the store the other day. Oh! What do we got? We got the Triceratops. Yes, and that's what we wanted. Yeah, even if he just signs his initials, you know, David Yoss, we can do that. Yeah. All right, well, we got Triceratops. And that's awesome. Look, and they also come with these little collector cards. Well, not really collector cards, but more so your checklist as you get in every other type of, um, what do you want to call it, uh, trading cards yeah. back in the day. Oh, there's something else in here. <laughs> A little Blue Ranger. Wait, oh! There's a little hole in there and you can put them right in there. All right, that's awesome. Nice, all right. All right, the next one, um, going on with the Loyal Subjects, we have some Thundercats ones. Uh, not exactly sure when these came out. They don't have a, a year on it, but if I'm looking down at the serial number right down here, it says uh, 10 31 17. So this probably came out Halloween of uh, 2017. Yep. So yeah, recently. So I'm not even going to just talk about which ones you can get. I'm just going to open it up. We'll make this easier. Make this quick. Oh, security label. Got to load it. Yeah. You know, I'm not even going to keep these boxes anyways, so. See, uh, I keep all my boxes because you never know if you need to uh, put the toys back in there, but. Eh. Most of these would be there display you know. purposes anyways. All right. We got Tigra. Oh. And he even comes with his bolo. Little That's bolo awesome. whip. All right, so. That's great. I don't know if he, yeah, he doesn't really stand up right now, but I'm not going to worry about that. We got another one. I got actually a couple multiples. And uh, if anything, uh, if I have any repeaters, I'll probably just end up giving them to this guy right here. All right. Whoopsie. Yeah, also, so we're opening these up. Uh, I would give shout out to our, you know, the t-shirts I'm wearing. Yep. These are both actually from T Fury. Oh yeah. So um, T Fury, thank you. Yeah. It's like Christmas, you know. Oh, Chitara, I love you. <laughs> Nerd. I know. Yeah, that's fitting that they're both together. Yeah. Hopefully she'll stand up. Oh, nope, she's not going to stand up then. Uh -huh. uh, there you go. There we go. All right, now we're going to move on to next ones from Loyal Subjects from the 30th anniversary of Street Fighter. And these ones came out in 2017 as well. 
Alright. Alright, so I'll bust it right open. Right. You want me to take the other one? Yeah, why not? Yeah. We'll make this easier. Yes, we'll. That way I'm not having all the fun. Uh, yeah, it's definitely like Christmas. You have so many boxes on the ground that you have to throw away later. All right. Oh, I've got Ken Masters. Uh-oh, and his leg is falling off. Oh, fixed it. I think these are more articulate. Does he come with something else too? No, these do not come with anything. No. So I'm just gonna. Oh, well, he's just gonna lay there for now. Uh, oh, he does. He actually comes with his dragon punch, his Shoruk and fireball. I hope I have brought you. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, we got Blanca. Blanca. All right. Is there anything else in there or? Uh... Which is also uh, my mother's name, so it's kind of fitting. <laughs> nice. But it's spelled different, though. But Oh, yeah, he comes with a chain. A little chain? A little is chain. There, uh, I don't know, because normally they might have one extra, extra thing. thing. Like an electric shock, maybe? Nope. Uh, no, just the checklist. No. All right, well, those are the Street Fighters. Moving on to the next ones from Loyal Subjects, we have G.I. Joe. And these ones came out in 2016. Awesome. Snake Eyes is always my all-time favorite character from G.I. Joe. I'm sure it's many people's favorite, and, uh... You know what, I kind of like Cobra Commander. Even though I'm usually the, uh, one who likes the good guys, <laughs> Cobra Commander was awesome, only because, you know, his oh, this, voice was... Oh, this was kind of a spoiler. As, uh, these, these came with the, the, the little, uh info cards that I saw before that this came out. Beachhead, so... I do love Beachhead though, especially in the movie. When he gets his butt handed to him by Jinx, that was pretty awesome. Alright, you raw heads. Raw, raw heads, raw hides. Cut the macho tunnel rat. <laughs> raw hides. Oh, so, oh, there comes with something too. It comes with, looks like, a... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, looks like you, uh, yeah, well, oh, here. Let's see. You got a beachhead. So this one is yours. Oh, another beachhead. Yep. It comes with, it looks like a walkie-talkie, uh, yeah, walkie-talkie pack pack and, uh, looks like a flamethrower. Yeah, because it's got the nice little, uh, canister on the back. So that's kind of cool. All right, so. Yeah, it's pretty I'll neat. let you put that there. Awesome, thank you. All right, so that is going to conclude the Loyal Subjects line. Now time to move on to the Funko line. First ones we have are through the Topps brand of Garbage Pail Kids. Now, we grew up with Garbage Pail Kids, and those were the cards that we wanted to have so bad, and our parents oh, yeah. would usually look at us like, nah, you're not getting that one. But Well, I actually had... I had a lot of them, so... Yeah, um, my, my cousin Shannon. Shannon, this one's for you, because I know you and your brother Jack had lots of Garbage Pail Kid cards, and we ca and they gave us some once in a while growing up, so that's how we got ours, you know, without our parents getting a little upset, so... Yeah, and the best thing out of the uh, Garbage Pail Kid cards was the stickers. Yes. You know, and they had the gum, too. Um, but I remember, like, I think it was about like five or six years old, I was actually one of the gar Garbage Pail Kids for Halloween. The one with the spiders coming out. So. Oh, I can't think of his name right now. But, uh, yeah, I can't either. But I, I did remember the ill-fated cartoon from the early 90s that they tried to do. Not not yeah. that funny, but I mean, but for, for nostalgic purposes, at least it was better than the film. Let's see. I got... Ah. Hmm. Let's see. What do you got? I've got... Buggy Betty. Is and I have Mean Gene. In Gene Okerlund? No. Now, I'm sure that's going to look a little bit different because of, you know, green screen back here, but it is definitely has that kind of, you know, aqua green, you know, insect looking, you know, skin and mm -hmm. the big blue bug eyes. So. Kind of looks like a Baxter Stockman a little bit. If, if Baxter Stockman and Maggie Simpson had yeah. a kid, you'd have this. All right. Well, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm thinking the Mohawk. Yeah, the Mohawk is pretty tight. Well, moving on to the next round of Funkos, we have WWE. 
He's not a big wrestling fan. Mm, I, I mean, I, you know, I can appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, back in the '90s, I I was into it, but uh, during the Attitude Era, yeah. Uh, these ones, I believe, came out in 2016. Yeah, these did come out in 2016. And there's uh, 12 different ones. There are no exclusives in this, but, you know, hey. They do have quite a number of uh, decent wrestlers. I mean, especially from back in the Attitude Era, as well as uh, Hulkamania Era. And a lot of the uh, modern era as well. So, I'm hoping I get a Ted DiBiase, maybe a Bret Hart. I hope I don't get a Roman Reigns. <laughs> watch, I'll probably We're trying to make that happen. We're both going to get one watch. Oh, gee, I will... I will brain you. Oh, Brett the Hitman Hart. All awesome. right. All right. We're in business. We still got one more left. Is there a little card in here? Oh. Is that Kevin Nash? That is Big Sexy Kevin Nash. And I'm going to open up this one real quick, too, because yep, and we have three of the uh, next two brands as well. So I'm just going to flip that out and see what happens here. Oh, you what do you got? Roman Reigns. Uh, no! 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 See, I told you they're trying to make it happen. Well, he probably will get the title at WrestleMania 34, which is coming up this coming Sunday, April 9th, I believe. Or 8th? Yeah, 8th, April, 8th. April 8th. Yeah, see, these days are getting you know way too complicated for me. So if you're a big wrestling fan like I am, be sure you check out WWE Network. $9.99 a month. There's my shameless plug. We're not getting paid by them or anything. We just want, we're, I'm just a fan. I'm just giving them a shout out. So, yeah. all right. Next on the Funko list is X Men. X Men. There are no uh, exclusives in this one either. Um, oh, let's see the. Uh, let's see. We got Wolverine, Cyclops, Storm, Professor Xavier, Beast, Colossus, Mystique, Sabretooth, Wolverine. Um, the White Queen, Magneto, and Juggernaut. Yep, so. and uh, I'm double checking. I, I can't find a year on this, but my guess is it's probably from the same around 2016 yeah. as um, the WWE ones were. All right, so who do you want before we open? Logan, I'd like. White Queen, probably Professor X too. You know. Mm, I think I would want. Actually, Cyclops. You know, people give him a lot of feeling something. Here. But uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think I know who it might be. I was feeling around, but nope, I was wrong. We have Colossus. Oh, he's got a bobblehead too. Yeah. Oh, and I got Mystique. Nice bobblehead. Look at that. That's cool. Now, if only I just had a little mini Deadpool next to Colossus, we'd be in business. Well. There's a third one of this. I'm going to have you open that one up because I opened up the other one of WWE. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Hopefully Cyclops. <laughs> All right. Oh! Oh, man. There you go. Woohoo! I got my Logan. Ha, ha, ha. Awesome. Oh, I know. Well, that is going to conclude our... Yeah, I love the jacket. But yeah. yeah, it looks like that's going to conclude our X-Men ones. Now, onto our last three, we have Star Wars from Funko. So, yeah, there is one exclusive on this. It's uh, Darth Vader in his ghostly apparition. So, most of the figures... Yeah, pretty much all of these are from episodes four through six. It's not Darth Vader's Anakin, is it? No, no, it's right, not. Good, good. Thank God. Good. All right, let's see. If I get a Han and a Greedo, I will. I'm going to have a picture of that put up where they're both pretty much aiming at each other. Yeah, that would be awesome. All right, let's see. Nope. Oh, Daddy! I have a Jawa. But, oh, got it on the wrong way. And they even come with these little oh, well. stand-ups right here. Oh, oh, Ben Kenobi. Obi-Wan. 
trying to get these through the pegs here. It's good they come with, with stands. Yeah, I'm trying to get it on there, but you know, for some reason. There we go. Makes it easier. Yeah, that's I'll awesome. let you open up this last one here. All right. Because there is nice. one more thing after all this uh, that I'm very, very, very excited to open. Move these up here so I got more room for that. Ah, Blanca knocked down Mystique. There you go. Blanca just doesn't want to sit up. All right, let's see which. Ah. We're killing all our figures here. We're killing them all. Sounds like an awesome metal album. Oh, wait, that's right. Metallica did have that, but it didn't work. <laughs> Well, actually, no, that is the album that they used. They had another one that they wanted to use, but, well, yeah. Didn't work. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, wait, it works. It works. <laughs> We've got Ben Kenobi. He doesn't like you. I don't like you either. We have a Death Warrant on 12 Systems. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Uh, uh, come on, guys. New no, Hope you, reference. You you know you want to play with these toys, too. Yep, and, you know, if, if you're interested in getting some of these, make sure you go to your local comic book stores or some of your other, um, basically, you know, retailer stores. Uh, Walmart has them, uh, Target, I mean, you name it, they've got them. Yep. They usually range from about, uh, give or take, 5 to, if not about $15, depending on, you know, which ones you're going for for the brand. If you go to... Um, some other stores like Discreet Play, sometimes mm -hmm. they might sell them for a little bit more, but they usually have a lot of the ones that are more exclusive to like FYE back when it was around. Mm -hmm. So things like that. Yeah, and, and GameStops sometimes too, they have like specials and clearance with some of them that, you know, aren't selling. You, like get, we still, you get some yeah. really cheap there too. Like we said, we are not uh, sponsored or endorsed by any of these companies. No. We are just giving them shout outs and letting you know if there's any place you want to look for these. There's your ticket. There they're from. And obviously, uh, with this whole Toys R Us thing going on, um, I mean, currently right now, most of the stuff is you know 10% to 30% off. Um, I have kind of a little bit of an insight of someone who told me who kind of works there that soon they're uh, going to do the uh, higher of you know like like 20 to 40% off. So you guys, so, you know, so. go there. Yeah, I mean it's still. Still really sad. Get your tax refunds ready, and, folks. Yeah. We're buying them out. You know, I mean, uh, I didn't mean to say it like that, but uh, you know, know get a little little shout out to Toys R Us, anyways. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, they've been um, a huge part of my collections of stuff that I'm buying because oh, yeah. you know they have a lot of exclusive stuff, and obviously we've all grown up with Toys R Us. So, uh, but I don't know. I don't want to grow up. I, uh, you know, because you're still a Toys R Us kid. Amen. And so am I. Well, there is one last thing that I want to bring up. This is from Culture Fly. It is a Nintendo Loot Crate. I got this at Walmart for about 15 bucks. Uh, they still have some. So uh, in it, they have a collectible coin, cartridge coasters, a plush toy controller, heat changing mug, mini notebook, a console backpack, and an exclusive mystery item. I bought this a couple days ago, and honestly, I was wanting to, you know, actually take a peek. Yeah. But out of respect for this, I was like, no, we, we got to do this right. Yeah, so, we have to unbox it. Because, yeah, it, mainly for that uh, mystery item. I, I wanted it to be a complete mystery on this, so. I mean, we got to give props to the case. I mean, oh, it yeah. looks like. Culture Fly. Uh, yeah, you know, like I mean, actual it's, it's, I mean, Super it, Nintendo. Yeah. So. I mean, even on the back side, yeah. it even has the ports for your AV cables and, uh, you know, your multi-out right here, so. All right, we're just gonna pop this open and s Ooh. oh, oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, this is. Thank you for purchasing. Complete the survey and receive fifty percent off first order. So yeah, they're gonna give you a nice little, uh, little good thing right there. All right, we have the plush controller. Oh uh, yeah, pretty cool. And it also comes. Oh, this must be is that the. A pin? Yeah, I, actually, I think that this is the mystery item. I oh, think okay. I don't know because it didn't say it was in there. But yes, it is a uh, little Nintendo pin for the classic N classic NES controller. All right, let's see. 
Uh, this one, I believe, is the coffee mug. That's my guess, because, yep. Yep. And what it says on the box is that it's heat changing, so, and the front of the mug has the 1980, classic 1989, classic 1990 Game Boy. Game Boy. And yeah, it's, nah, I probably need real coffee in this, so maybe one day we'll test it out, see what it looks like. And then, there's the collector's coin, Nintendo console box, so it's got the Mario one on there, so that's cool. Feels like there's more in here, but... It looks like a backpack. Yep, this is the backpack. It's for, uh, for consoles, probably for your, I don't know, it's just... Probably for a mini thing, you know? Probably for kids. Well, I'm thing. short, so I probably could wear it. Yeah, I mean, and it's even in the shape of the classic Super Nintendo. So, yeah, that is very, very nice. I like that. I'm liking this. And a little notebook in the shape of... It literally is mm -hmm. almost to um, size on the original Game Boy, so... Most of the time, I'll probably end up just doing this the whole time. <laughs> I probably won't even use it just because I've got enough respect for yeah, it. Yeah, I keep it in the, in the plastic. Yeah, so it looks like that uh, controller pin was the mystery item. Yeah. And last but not least, we have the coasters. Yes. So, I'm, I'm actually going to open this up because there's, cool. cause there's three of them, and didn't really show... Hmm, I don't want to compromise the cork on these things, but you know what? Hey. Are you going to use them? Maybe. You know, I just wanted to see exactly which ones we have because, uh, I mean, the first one, obviously, on this first here, we have uh, the original Super Mario Brothers. And it's an actual case from the Nint original Nintendo. Yeah, game. that is pretty cool. And they're also in the shape of the cartridges. So we've got Mario Brothers. One of my favorites. Super Mario Brothers 3. My actual oh, there's, oh, there's four. favorite Mario there's game. There's four, actually. I thought there was three, but yeah. And then we have Duck Hunt. And if you haven't noticed, we are wearing Mario shirts. So. Oh, yeah. You know, we're, we love video games. Yes. And last, but certainly not least, one of the greatest female characters of Nintendo history, Samus Aran from Metroid. Metroid. Oh, yes. Woo. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, $15 at Walmart. Culture yeah. Fly. That is a real, real, well, deal. well, well played. I, I'm, I'm so happy that I got all this stuff. Yeah, I mean, we actually seen um, the coasters at a store that was like ten dollars anyway. So yeah, I mean, I think it was just, was it just like individuals or was it? I, it was the same thing. Oh wow! So basically, somebody must have taken it out of. The... Well, <laughs> I don't know. They probably like had some like exclusive thing to sell up there. Just oh maybe. Go, you know, okay. So. Well. So, other than that, um, this is pretty much it for the unboxing. Uh, we'd like to thank, let's see, Funko, and we'd like to thank the Loyal Subjects, as well as Culturefly for all the good stuff that we opened up today. And I'm going to shut my mouth for the moment and uh, bring it back to DJC to close us up on this. Yeah, well, like I said, you know, I, I appreciate you guys all tuning in uh, every time we post any segments that we have, um, especially, you know, with my DJC toy box. Uh, we have some, I may have some new things coming on soon. Um, got some new toys that I think you guys are going to like. But anyway, so push that red button, subscribe, and we, you know, want to thank everybody that has subscribed. Um, oh, yeah. We've gained a lot of subscribers and we appreciate that. And we have new content coming, you know, uh, with this show and with the other segment. So please, please uh, stay tuned. Oh, yeah. And thank you. Take it easy. Thank you.